my my kids and I, well, my husband's military, was military, he just retired, and uh, we moved every two to three years, and wherever we went, we just got involved in, in the community somehow. It just made us feel like we belonged there, like we were supposed to be there. Wherever we moved, I mean, it was, I try to keep the family stable, so it was, you know, like every two to three years pulling the kids up and they had to start at a new school, they had to start all over making friends, and I felt like it was just a way to kind of make yourself feel like you belonged in that community, wherever we were. I think so. I think it's helped me, this may sound weird, to care about my fellow man a little more. You know, because I see someone needs help, it's, I'm more inclined to go help them than I would without volunteering. Yeah, there's a local chapter of the ALS Association, and um, so I've been involved with helping um, set up fundraisers. They do a walk every year. It's a mile, so the people that are currently diagnosed with it can participate in the walk. Um, we've had to move it to Turfway Park because it's getting so big. They always bring a horse out for the kids, and we usually do stuff with that. Um, and uh, my friend of mine is in a local band, and so they do a Rock Your ALS Off, um, usually in the fall really neat to be able to give back to something. I know my dad was a big advocate for giving back, so it's a way that I can kind of honor his memory. You know, I, I believe in God, and I believe that um, we all have a reason, we all have a purpose to be here. And the purpose is not for me. It's not my purpose. It's, it's somebody else's. And I think it feels better to help other people, to serve other people that way, um, no matter what their needs are. So I think you get more out of it giving back to somebody or, you know, helping somebody out in any way, like I said, any way that they, that they need your help. I think you, you get more out of it than doing something for yourself.